hi there, I want to talk about prescription drugs while traveling today. Like many uh, Americans over 55, I take high blood pressure medications. I don't know why. Oh, wait, I do know why. All right. I've been to three countries in the last six months, Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, back to Mexico, but that's still the same country. And of course, US, so I guess that's four if you count the US countries. And I've basically done little experiments in each country to see if I can find my prescription meds. Disclaimer, this is not medical advice. This is travel friend to friend advice here, not medical advice. Talk to your own doctor, seek your own medical information. This is my experience finding my prescription meds while traveling. So uh, one big disclaimer, one other big disclaimer, that's the first one, it's not medical advice. The second big dis disclaimer is countries like Mexico, Ecuador, Colombia, you don't need a prescription to get most medications. Uh, think like in Ecuador, you need one for antibiotics and narcotics, but if you wanna go get your blood pressure medication, go get it, they don't care. They assume you know what you're talking about. So you might wanna be sure that you do know what you're talking about before you go wandering off into pharmacies and asking for medications. You really have to know your own medications and be comfortable ordering them. You can work with local doctors, your doctor back in the US, whatever you need to do, but you need to achieve that level of comfort if you're gonna be walking into pharmacies and just getting medications directly from the pharmacy without prescription. So um, what I did was when I was down in each one of these uh, three countries, Mexico, Colombia, and Ecuador, I basically just wandered into the pharmacy. I'd written down my prescription. I know what I take. I'm quite comfortable with my own medications. I research them because I don't trust anybody. So I want to know my own medications. Walk in and I basically hand them a slip of paper or show them on my phone. These are the medications that I want in the dosages that I want them. Now, this was super easy. I did this in Colombia. Um, they went, the pharmacist that I was talking to, for, super knowledgeable, right on the shelf, came back with the uh, drug I needed, not quite in the right dosage, but you know, it was in a simple, um, you know, multiple of the dose. So it was easy to figure this one out. And same way in Ecuador, again, no problem. Wandered in, got the, ex uh, the exact drug I needed, not the exact dose, but again, it, it was a simple multiple and we, you could you know, figure out to take two of this particular pill. Not hard to uh, figure out. Mexico mostly worked. A lot of the Mexico pharmacies right there in the tourist areas, at least down where I was in San Jose de Cabo, uh, they don't really have like your daily meds. If you want sleep aids, you, you can go there, but you might have to go off the tourist area to find your uh, normal prescription medications. And I noticed that the pharmacists there were more not pharmacists, actually, they were just salespeople. So word of caution, Mexico, but again, no problem, Ecuador, Colombia. Now, I was watching a friend of mine, uh, well, he's not, we've never met, you know, I feel like he's a friend because I watched him on YouTube so much, he probably doesn't know who I am. But Don Shader has a YouTube channel on Ecuador. And one of his viewers was asking him questions. And they mentioned a kind of a cool site called pillandtravel.com, where you could look up the medications available in other countries. So I went to this website and I'll include it in the description. Uh, I went and looked up a medication of mine in Ecuador and I'd been to Ecuador and I'd purchased some medications down there. So I knew it was there, but I looked it up and it didn't show up in this list. I'm like what up with that? So then I remembered, well, okay, um, I'm looking up under the generic name. Let's try the brand name. And sure enough, I was able to find it. So let's talk real fast about generic versus brand. Let me bring up my screen. I'm just gonna share this. So again, this is not medical advice. I am not a licensed practitioner in these countries or in any state that you're in probably. So uh, drug names. There's a whole bunch of different names for drugs. There's chemical names. There's names that only pharmacists know or care about. Certainly not me. I don't think anybody on this channel would care. But there are two different names for drugs that we do care about, the brand name and the generic name. So for example, um, Toprol is a brand name for the generic med, I'll probably screw this up, uh, Metropolol, I think is how you say that. 
and Zestrel for lisinopril, Coumadin for warfarin. Um, and so if you just go like pick one of these names and look it up on that drug site, uh, hang on, I'm going to pause just for a second while I bring up that drug site. Okay, so here is the website I was talking about, pillandtrip.com. And I'm just going to go search for one of these medications I was showing you, the last one. Let's um, move a couple things out of the way. So I'm just going to actually go search for, um, oops, bring it up. Let's search for warfarin that was on there. Um, and you can see here, so warfarin's, there's not too many Ws. You can see warfarin's not on there. And you might think, oh dear, there's no warfarin on that particular site. So there's no warfarin in Ecuador. Well, sure there is warfarin in Ecuador. It's a super common drug. But if you go to, I think Coumadin is the uh, brand name. Sure enough, yeah, Coumadin is there listed on this particular site. So it's there by brand name, not by generic. Now, you might search the other way too. If you search for your, your brand name and you can't find that, know the generic name for your drug in search for that. So keep in mind there's brand names and generic names. This particular site is helpful, but you would have to know each one. As a general, you kind of want to know the brand names for your drugs and the generic names and be real comfortable with those names, your dosages before you go wandering off into a pharmacy to try to get your prescriptions filled without a prescription, which is what you can do in the other countries. It's sort of liberating and free to be able to walk in and just get whatever drug you want but it better be the drug you need. So this is where you want to talk to your doctor or whatever medical provider you have, be comfortable. Maybe they'll be perfectly happy to write down prescriptions that you could take with you to the other countries. Um, sometimes the handwriting is so sloppy, it might not work, but you can work with them saying, you're going to another country. Could you please type it out so it's legible, which would be nice. That way you can get the drug that you're supposed to have. So just a quick little bit of non-medical advice, friend to friend advice. And I hope that you can travel around and find the drugs you need while you're traveling and not have that be an impediment to travel. I've been lucky. It hasn't been for me. I hope you can do the same. Thanks for watching the video.